Hey guys, um, today we're just going to show you a couple of slide sheet techniques. Uh, due to the manager reviews, it was said that well we could brush up on a couple of little tips and tricks that we cover in movement and handling training. So firstly, we'll just start with the simple. I'm just going to roll the client to myself and we'll put the slide sheet in and move her off the bed. But firstly, obviously it's important to get that bed raised up to a comfortable position for both carers. What you're aiming for is with both hands down to your sides, with your knuckles out, and you want them to sort of be in line with the bottom of the mattress around that area. How's that feel? Okay, that's good for me. Great. I'm going to get the head down, make sure the bed's flat, obviously. You right, Tash? <laughs> Great. So, when you're rolling, obviously, first thing we need to do is we're going to lift your leg up, we're going to check the muscle integrity in the leg. If it can stay there on its own for a couple of seconds, then we know we're okay to move with the knee. So, Tash, you're right to just lift. And we're just going to use the shoulder and the knee. I'm just going to roll that safely. Keep and hold of her. Make sure she feels safe. How you doing? Lovely. We're going to put it under the pillow as well. It's good because her head's going to stay on the pillow. We can move the pillow and her head and her body all with the slide sheet at once. So once the slide sheet's all tucked under, I'm just going to move you back attach into the centre. And we're going to follow the process on Stacey's side as well. And just pull the rest of the slide sheet through. Great. So now the slide sheet's underneath Tash or the client. So from here, it is just a case of using the top side of the sheet. And we're going to make sure our hands are in line with the hips and the shoulders. And we want our knuckles to be facing up. So if we have them like that and we're moving, then we might have an inclination to kind of lift and obviously that's not what we want. We want, we're not lifting at all, we're just having the two slide sheets against each other. So in line with the hip and in line with the shoulder and after the count we're going to move up to bed. Ready? Ready, steady and steady. So we just make Tash comfortable obviously and we'll bring the head up and as you can see she's in a much better position and she's not sort of all cramped down at the bottom of the bed. One of the most common movements we use in the bed for washing, dressing, uh, putting slide sheets and these slings is the barrel roll. The easiest way of doing this is reaching over to the knee, furthest away from you and lifting by underneath the knee and letting the foot drop down to the bed. What you're doing with this is you are checking whether the, the person has got good muscle integrity and is able to keep this leg in the position that it's in. If after a couple of seconds the leg starts rolling to one side or the foot starts sliding down towards the bed, what you're going to do instead is using the heel and the knee is cross the legs, okay? So when you're actually rolling, if you're in this position and you ask the client to reach over, you're gonna go for the knee and the shoulder to pull the person towards you. If you do have to cross the legs, you're gonna go for the hips and the shoulder instead to roll. Another method of getting the slide sheet in is by rolling it and unrolling it underneath the client so you don't have to move the client from side to side. So as before, you're going to make sure your bed is at the right height and you're going to lower the head. With the slide sheet, I will show you over Natasha, so you can see. But what you're going to do is you're going to pull the slide sheet down all the same way. So you've got it folded. With the folds down the bed, what you can do is put it underneath the pillow. If the person's able to lift the head, that's great. If not, you can just push down to the bed to get it underneath. From here then, you're going to turn to face the end of the bed, and the hand closest to the bed is going to go underneath and hold on to the rolls. Keeping the top one in place, and on ready, steady, pull, you're going to pull down just one roll at a time. You ready? Mm -hmm. Ready, steady, pull. Once you've done one roll, you go back up and take the next lot of rolls. Ready, steady, pull. What you're aiming to do is pull down into the bed. Ready, steady, pull. Ready, steady, oh, sorry. <laughs> pull. Ready, steady, pull. Ready, steady, pull. Ready, steady, pull. With this method, as you can see, now we've managed to get the slide sheet underneath.
without rolling the plane. You're going to use the same technique again, hands on the hips and the shoulders, knuckles down, facing the way that you're going to slide, and we're going to go. Ready? Ready, steady, slide. Lovely. A quick and easy way to remove the slide sheet, what you can do is going underneath the knees, in between the slide sheets, you're going to go for this opposite edge. Obviously, I am overreacting on this movement. Pull it through and following that edge up the bed and then down the bed through the slide sheet. From there, then you can then reposition the client using the profile.